Boom! So the first thing I did is face off with a Keta Metal CCMT style insert. Facing off is pretty much always your first operation on a Swiss machine. It establishes zero, and then you can work back from there. Next are my ID tools. If I did my OD tools first, I wouldn't have any material to support my ID tools, so these have to happen after I face off. So next are my OD operations, where I turn, groove behind the thread, single point the thread, mill a hex, and then rough out the back section for the sub spindle. So the counter spindle and the main spindle run simultaneously. So while those operations are happening on the main, on the counter spindle, I face off and turn the OD. After that, I come in and I drill with an eight millimeter drill. Then I come in and I bore the ID up to nine millimeters. After that, I come in and I do my single point thread. I then deburr the thread, mill a small hex on the front, and then finally, it ejects the part into the tray. And then the part comes out the conveyor, lands in a nice little pile of parts, and then boom, baby, you're making money. The cuts you just saw make this three-piece assembly. When put together, it makes a tool presetter. This tool presetter, combined with the Tornos machine interface, can help save you a bunch of time when setting up your Swiss machine. And we're bringing this all to you today on the DT26. I'm super excited, guys. Let's get into this. I'd hate to see you miss it. I know what you might be thinking. You might be thinking that you can't use this tool unless you have a Tornos machine. And that's simply not true. You can set this to the length of your ID tools on your ID station and use it as a hard stop to slide your tools out to. Now, unlike using an end mill to make your shape, Polygonal turning actually uses two rotating bodies to create a polygon. So your two rotating bodies are your polygonal holder here and your main spindle here. They have to rotate into each other, which means you have to do conventional cutting to make this work.
about this? Do it. Boom. Do it. Look at that. That's so good. That is just so smooth. <laughs> and then you could unscrew it by doing this. <laughs> but, but, don't stop filming this, guys. Because some people will say, hey, the thread's so small, he must have cheated. Maybe the no-go will go on, and that's why the go goes on so smooth. But guess what? If you thought that, joke's on you, because look at that. Boom.